hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Um, Quavo just put up a post, y'all. He says that I washed a casket clothes on my favorite person. I ain't been right since. <laughs> y'all. 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 Um, he haven't been right even before the casket closed. Even before the incident happened, y'all. Okay? Everything in this whole situation makes no sense of why takeoff is gone. Okay, y'all? Especially, and Quavo was the one that was getting into it with everybody. Especially, and Quavo was the one that wanted to come to Houston to celebrate whatever birthday party on for Halloween with the with mob ties. Okay, y'all? That be back knowing everybody. All right, y'all? Um, you wasn't right before this incident happened. It just amazes me that Quavo is the one that directed a video that came out the same night, y'all. The same night the video came out. Your nephew passes away the same way. So many subliminals in the video that happened the same thing that happened that night. It seems it, like it all was scripted. And I'm wondering now, y'all, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all, because every time you do hear from Quavo, he got some new music coming out. This is the only time he wants to, you know, pull the sympathy card. Okay, y'all? And he wants his fans to start listening to him again. In my personal opinion, y'all let me know if I'm tripping in the comment section, but is it only when he got some new music coming out is when he wants to address the whole takeoff situation? We never hear anything about you trying to get any justice for him. But we, we hear this little nippets here and there when you got some trash music coming out. And I do believe that first song that he put out, everybody was feeling real sympathetic toward him. That's why that first song did so good. Then he came back with the second song and everybody was sad at him. Y'all should have been sad at him from the first song that he came out with. Because word on the street is Takeoff didn't even want to go. Takeoff was the one in the cut in the back, sent being quiet, not doing anything. You were the one with the loud mouth getting into it with everything. Just like in the video, arguments taking place and all of this stuff over, you know, a dice game or whatever, y'all. And you ran off and left him. And then you ran back to him after the deed was done. And look at the colors that you wore. The red and the black and all of that. This was all... And, I, and I'm just telling y'all right now. I think he's just trying to get some attention right now. To be completely honest with y'all. I think he's trying to get some attention. How do you all go from beefing with your record labels and all of this stuff. To you taking your nephew to Houston. Getting him taken out. And then everything gets settled afterwards. The record label sells, you know... They sell y'all masters and everything and everything. And, and then, you know, the, the same people that you was in Houston with, they end up going to a meeting. Jay Prince is having meetings. Really? With y'all record label? After the deed was done? And then he sell it for $300 million? I wonder how much of that $300 million mob ties collected when they sold quality control so you know did their little deal i wonder how much of them 300 million did mob tax get because everything was just is peaches and cream now even um what's his name offset even he you know dropped the, whatever lawsuits or whatever he had going on after all of this little commotion started and after it was the, cleared the air and i do believe they all knew that it was about to go down because, you know, um, Cardi B was putting out a lot of messages talking about the Illuminati this and the Illuminati that. Cardi B kept saying stuff about this stuff. 
and then he gets taken out. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. If you just wanted to go hang out with some thug thizzles, you could have hung out with some thug thizzles in the city and state you live in. You go all the way to Houston to hang out with somebody, and y'all, it makes no sense. Just like I said, and this was right after Duke 93rd got taken out. Chicago's Duke 93rd got taken out at a dice game. And then he goes to the concert. They talk him to leave in the dice game. Go chill and we got we got we're gonna get you in a concert. You can come to my concert. He goes to the concert and he gets taken out, going to his car. Make that make sense. I guess he didn't hear, he didn't get the memo about what happened to Duke. And then a month or so later, then here we go. Takeoff get taken out around the same people. Same people. It makes you wonder, like, what, what, do they watch social media? Are they living in, you know, some kind of box when they're, you know, not on, not on the stage or whatever? It just makes you wonder. And they had to have heard about what happened to Duke. Hanging out with Boosie and J. Prince Jr. Why press your luck like that? They go hang out with a bunch of, you know, thug thizzles that, um, taking people out, people passing away left and right, hanging around them. And of course, yes, they have been hanging around with them for years, but that don't make no difference. How many years have you grown up in your neighborhood and hung around people that's in street associations and then you get taken out? There are people that don't even like to go out for Halloween. Let's not go to another city and state where a whole bunch of people is sipping, smoking their kneecaps off at, and just anything can happen. You never put your life in somebody else's hands. Just don't do that. Because you can you see now that your life is not guaranteed when you're hanging around with these, you know, people like Mob Tabs and Boosie now. If other people has passed away around, you think that you you special? Make it make sense. And now he want to get sympathy again? Oh, I haven't been the same since. You haven't been right since. You haven't been right before it happened. Because if you was putting all these subliminals in that video, you knew something was about to take place. You knew it. And I'm wondering where did he even get that idea from, that video idea? That's what people need to be asking him. What made you come up with that video idea? Or did anybody else work with you and they came up with it and you just went with it? Just put, let the cat out the bag about that. If you're not going to talk about what happened that night, would take off was with y'all at least talk about where that idea came from because if you talk about who even threw that idea out because i don't believe he came up with it by itself if you talk about who even put that even in your ear that type of you know video to put out that'll tell you something there that that person was a part of the play but he's not saying anything. He's not opening his mouth, y'all. Let's let you know you didn't care about takeoff in the first place. Because you're not saying anything. And I don't understand why people is not having interviews with him and asking him that question. What gave you that idea, Quavo, to do that video? Did somebody lead you to do that video or he worked with you to do that video? Because I believe it was more than one director for that video. And if he came up with this on his own and they just played it out to be the same way he did that video, then he should even feel even worse because <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, they backdoored him too. So talk about that. That's what we want to hear, Quavo. We don't want to hear all of this other mess. Because we know you been ain't right. Okay? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Rest in peace. Take off.